find the sample variance of the following, following data using an HP Prime graphing calculator. Now we want to get back to our application library. If you're not already there, then press your apps button. And we want to choose statistics one var. So we'll down arrow to it and press enter on it. Also there's a touch screen so you can just touch it and, and do it. And I want to delete these numbers out, even though those are the same numbers we're going to re-enter. But whatever numbers you have there, you can uh, get rid of by keep pressing this delete key over and over. Okay, now to re-input numbers, um, you do 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter 53 enter now you don't have to delete those out if you work with the same set of numbers you just leave it in there I was just doing that just to demonstrate how to clean out numbers and how to re-enter or how to input numbers okay uh, now I'm gonna push the stats button right here and um, I'm gonna do choose column and I want to choose one because we got one column okay now I'm gonna down arrow and sample variance. Well, sample variance is the sample standard deviation squared. So what I could do is I could write down this number and then square it. Um, there's another way, though, and I'm going to show that, that method. So I'm going to click OK here. Then I'm going to choose my home button. And I want to choose my bars. And um, you should have an app uh, chose here. If, if you don't, if you're back here at home or something, then uh, make sure you choose the app. And we just did a statistics one var right there. So I'm going to do my right arrow key. And you see results. If I right arrow key there, then uh, number of items, min value, Q1, medium, Q3, maximum value. Um, it's curious they don't put the X bar there, but oh well. Uh, the one we're wanting is SX. That's our sample standard deviation. So I'll press enter on that. And now I'll do my X squared button and enter. And so this will be our sample sample variance. So you don't have to re-enter the numbers or anything. It's just under VARS. And around the two decimal places we'd have 228.28 for our answer. And you press your apps. That'll take you back to your application library. In this video, we took a look at how to find a sample variance on an HP uh, Prime graphing calculator.